It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Southern California and the gorgeous SoFi Stadium in the Los Angeles suburb of Inglewood. Good battle coming up here in the AFC West. So glad you're with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Part of this division has been the domain of the Kansas City Chiefs. They've won eight straight division titles, three Super Bowl wins during that stretch as well. And every year, you get here and you ask, who can knock off the Chiefs? Well, I think if you ask the other three teams in the AFC West, they would all say, okay, this is our year. But really, for a division where all three of those teams were sub-500 last year, now there's been some coaching changes, some new blood. But until you knock off the champ, they're still the champ. And right now, until further notice, this division continues to run through the Kansas City Chiefs. And barring something crazy, I don't expect that to change very much this year. A dangerous Miko Hardman on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Chiefs come out with the face of the NFL. Patrick Mahomes, two-time regular season MVP, three-time Super Bowl MVP, just in his eighth year, best in the business at the helm for KC, Greg. I'll tell you what, Mike, we have a blast every week doing this, but when we get our assignments and we see this guy on deck, it just gets a little bit more special. I mean, to witness firsthand one of the greatest, one of the most transcendent players of all time at the quarterback position, you just know when he's on the field, you're likely to witness something special. And needless to say, I think we're all pretty excited for this one. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. We'll try again here, second and ten. They put Kelsey in motion. On second down, Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. And this passing game continues to come up short these last couple plays. That's two consecutive incompletions in a row. Now they're staring fourth down right in the face. On fourth down, on is the Chiefs' new punter for 2024, Matt Ariza. On the return for the Chargers, it's Darius Davis. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Chargers led out by Justin Herbert in his fifth season out, Greg. As the Charger QB, a guy we saw win the Offensive Rookie of the Year in 2020. His skill set can be determined by the letter A. Arm talent, accurate, athletic. And he's got a kind of aura about him. There's something special that they know. When he's under center, we have a shot. First round pick. He's got everything you want for the quarterback position. He needs to take that next step from being a legitimate, bona fide franchise quarterback to a superstar in the NFL. Now he's set up now. Past the 40 with that one. Well, a really nice start here to the drive. Early down success. Every offensive coordinator is trying to find ways. How do we pick up first downs without having to get to third down? We see it here. Big explosive run. Now the rest of the drive unfolds. That one complete to Johnston. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. The timing of these RPO concepts, that's the entire key. Remember, Mike, different than the college game, these offensive linemen, they're blocking for the run. But if that ball gets pulled, the pass option of the play, they're not allowed downfield. In the college game, they get a three-yard window 
that they're allowed to be downfield even on a forward pass. That's not the rule in the NFL. These decisions have to be made quickly. If not, even after a good pickup, you could be coming back due to a flag. Third and five. Shotgun now for Herbert. And this ball incomplete on third down. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast. And tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. That's going to be out of bounds, no return. And the drive is going to start from just inside the 20-yard line. The Chiefs offense is going to take over now for the second time. They'll search for the first point of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. concepts are frequently used Mike throughout the entire game all across the league and what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs you run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch and it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game they'll come up here first and ten out of the gun here's Mahomes right over the middle and they can't connect Incomplete. He was trying to get it to Xavier Worthy there. And it'll bring up second down. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. That'll be caught. DJ Smith Schuster. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. The shotgun. It's Mahomes. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. So they made it a priority here early to try to get him the ball in the first quarter. But that was their third attempt. None of them have resulted in a catch. If you got to start looking elsewhere, you don't want to get into a position like where you feel like you're forcing the guy the ball and forcing your offense to run through. Third and long for Mahomes. He's got his man and he finds Worthy. That's well done as they get the conversion on third and 13. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. First down throw, Mahomes. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Off 
the bootleg. It's Mahomes. That's to the end zone, but they can't do it. It's incomplete. Well, that golden opportunity slip away on that one. That's the matchup that they wanted. They just couldn't quite capitalize on it. Here's another shot from the six. It's second and goal. again. It's Mahomes. That is caught. Hard running close to the goal line, but they're going to mark him just short. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times, and then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal, but right now they're on the doorstep of the end zone, and they got to find a way to put that ball across the goal line. So can the defense come up with the early stop here on third and goal? Right back to the air for Mahomes. This is Smith-Schuster. Touchdown, Chiefs. But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession, too. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Butker's extra point is good. And the Chiefs will take a 7-0 lead. following the touchdown to send this one away. He fields it at the eight. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Chargers offense ready to take over for their second possession. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. Set to go now on first and ten. Now Herbert. Uh, first down throw there is incomplete. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page and the ball falls incomplete. Herbert to throw on second down. Looking middle, and he'll get it complete to McConkey. It takes a certain guy in that slot position to be willing and able to go across the middle of the defense on those in-breaking routes. You can tell this guy, he doesn't care. He is fearless going across the middle, and he's able to secure a nice catch. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. too much and he goes down you just don't expect to take a sack on an RPO of course one half of that play Mike is a designed run but then the pass option component is really a designed quick game to get the ball out of the quarterback's hand to take advantage of a hole in the pass coverage he can't sit there and hold the ball that long because remember what's the offensive line doing they're blocking for run here's J.K. Scott now and he'll be looking for something better after that poor first punt. A fair catch taken, and they're going to start right at their own 20-yard line. So here comes the KC offense set to take over once more. They lead it here early 7-0 as they start with a first and 10.
throwing now. Mahomes. He's got his tight end. That's Travis Kelsey. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. Mahomes now to throw on second down. Nice pop down the field. It's worthy. A pickup of 21 on that connection. Good for a Chiefs first down. Really nice play there by Xavier Worthy. And if I'm a defensive coordinator around the league, and I'm thinking to myself, Mike, how do I stop this Chiefs offense? How do I stop Mahomes and Kelsey? Well, they just add a wide receiver that has the fastest 40-yard dash time in the history of the NFL Combine. I mean, the ability to take the top off, the ability to make those secondary players play that much deeper and open up everything else underneath. And he gets up and running, and he really finds his groove in this league. This scary offense just got a little bit scary. It's been a busy first quarter for him so far. His third catch goes for a first down. Mahomes now to throw again. Into the hands of Juju. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to the first down. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The linemen cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long. So it's something that teams want to implement, but maybe to the goal line and in. Noah Gray, touchdown, Kansas City. Greg, offensive coordinators script the start of the game. This script has read perfectly. What a great start for this offense. It just seems like every play this offensive coordinator dials up is perfectly timed and then perfectly executed. They've been aggressive. They've been efficient right since the start of this one. And I'll tell you what, Mike, they continue to build on this lead here early. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a long day for this defense. Mm -hmm. The extra point by Butker is good. And the Chiefs move out on top, 14 to nothing. So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. This taken at the five. Now an opening past the 30. The Chargers offense are now ready to take over once more. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. Now, Herbert. The open man is Johnston. He's got it. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the front. All the qualities that make a 
good safety are seen on display on this play. Speed, pursuit, and then the intensity and the strength at the point of contact for the tackle to keep this ball carrier to no gain, that is a complete safety play. That's Palmer, the man in motion. Throwing is Herbert on third down. He's got his tight end. That's Hurst. He's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground. And they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. On first down, Herbert. This one a complete right side. And they'll have it across midfield, down at the opposing 46-yard line. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? He's got the connection there. It's Joshua Palmer. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Johnston motioning over. He's got the open man. That's McCarthy. And he's going to have the first down taken down for a short pickup of five, but it will keep the drive going. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. So after one, 14 to nothing is our score. We're back in Southern California, in a moment. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Herbert to the air again. This throw taken in by Hurst. They need the 24-yard line as they come up for third down. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. Healthy yardage made this much easier to convert. They now face third and two. From the gun, give to Edwards. Now we have an early decision here, Mike. How aggressive does this coach want to be on this fourth down try? I think you got to keep your offense out there. You have a prime opportunity to take the fight to them, extend this drive, and hopefully be able to come away with points. The field goal unit on the sideline. They'll line up to go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it. It's Edwards. They convert with a game of 15. It's not just the block was creating yards from out there. 
He created most of that yardage on his own, shrugging off the initial tackle attempt and continuing to rumble downfield. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. Shotgun now for Herbert. He pulls it in around the five. And he's in for the touchdown. But hold everything. There is a marker down. These points may come off the board. So holding is the call. Take that touchdown off the board. Now it is first and goal. From the gun, it's Herbert. This one finds McConkey. Seemed like the receiver might ran through like five different open zones, but once he found the one that he liked, where the quarterback was expecting him, you see him do a nice job throttling down, secures the catch, and he's able to pick up a nice game. Nine yards from the end zone for second down and goal. Out of the gun, here's Herbert. He connects with Palmer on that one. He brings it down to the five-yard line, but now it is third and goal. To throw, it's Herbert. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. Quinton Johnston, the man he was looking for on that one. And now they're faced with a fourth and goal. You can see the receiver. He's pleading his case to the reps. He's saying, man, I was in bounds. I was able to get both in. But from our perspective, Mike, I think it's pretty clear. He was not in bounds. I don't blame him for trying. I was in his situation. I'm doing the exact same thing. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there, but I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. The kickoff team is out of the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Hardman now to return it. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Patrick Mahomes going to lead the KC offense back out for this next drive. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that, beginning with first down. this one out to the 43 yard line just seems like every year Mike the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role and listen I know I'm biased but if you want to have a good passing game you better have a good tight end here's Patrick he'll throw it on first down working the right side taken in by Rice I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play. Winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass. Because that quarterback, he put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time. And he's able to secure a really nice catch. On second down, Mahomes. Short pass taken in by Kelsey. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down. After a gain of seven. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. Right back to the air for Mahomes. 
And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the intended target. It's second down. Here in the first half, we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys. I mean, they've come out completely on fire. So the defense finally gets a stop. And really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. That's made by Smith Schuster. 14 on the pickup, and the Chiefs have a first down. So far here early, Mike, the key for this offense has been their ability to maintain possession by converting on these third downs. It's going to be a big storyline the rest of the way. This defense has to find a way. When they force third down, they got to get off the field. Here's first and ten. To the air once more, it's Mahomes. This caught right side by Worthy. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Throwing again, it's Mahomes. And he'll get him down a game of five but that is enough for a first down and this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line but they can occasionally split out in the slot and man they're too fast for linebackers and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs out of the gun here's a run of the gut and a nice run get him about nine It'll bring up second down. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You gotta have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Mahomes now on second down. And he's in. Samaje Piran, touchdown KC. And the show continues. What a first half he's had, Greg. A third touchdown pass with that one. Mike, what stood out to me the most so far is just the amount of space these guys have had to operate in. I think if I'm this defensive coordinator, me and my staff at halftime are revisiting this game plan. They obviously felt good about it coming in, but I don't think there's anything to feel good about thus far. Here's Butker now for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Chiefs move out to a 21-3 advantage. So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. Here's Darius Davis to return it. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And this will wind up working out well. He's going to take it up to the 40-yard line. Good return. The Chargers offense headed back to take over once more. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their half to this point. Let's see what they do on this drop. First down now. Now Herbert. And he can't hang on. It is incomplete. 
play a chance there, a big chance for a huge play, but he couldn't reel it in. You know, Mike, there's the saying in the NFL, take what the defense gives you. But that's not always the case. Sometimes you have to force a ball downfield. Show the defense you are willing to take big shots. Even though they weren't able to connect, it's going to have an impact the rest of the game. Edwards gets it from the pistol. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. The big guys in the middle of the defense, Mike, the defensive tackles. So often, they're asked to do the dirty work. Keep the blockers off the linebackers. Let them run around and make all the plays. But in this case, this guy's able to shed his blocker, make the stop, and keep it to no gain. Throwing is Herbert on third down. That's complete to his running back, J.K. Dobbins. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. Here come the Chiefs in last year's Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes, for their next drive. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. Spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. From the 25, he'll go to work. First and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mahomes. Into the hands of Juju. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Now give up the middle. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. He's going to lose a yard. Now, there hasn't been a whole lot for this crowd to be excited about on either side of the ball, but at least now the defense is trying to be that spark. Nice tackle for loss there. Can they do something to build upon to try to get this team going? Mahomes now on third and two. Got him in. It's Kelsey. Complete. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. minutes remain here in this first half. Greg and I return to SoFi Stadium after a short break. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. They put Kelsey in motion. On first down, it's Mahomes. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. First down throw, Mahomes. That's taken in by the running back, Kira. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. Mahomes now to throw again. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with this target. That's incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Third and short. Here's Patrick. He's got a man. It's Smith-Schuster. That's kick three just on this drop, and it gets his team a first down. That last completion is going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. 
you're already in field goal range so now the idea is continue to work the clock down take a couple shots at the end zone you want to get points ideally a touchdown but either way you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter down to the 16-yard line, and it's first and 10. Gray is the motion man here. A first down throw for Mahomes. That's going to be caught by Gray. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them down to the one. Man, they're just running this two-minute drill to complete perfection. It's such a point of emphasis of every offense, Mike. These end-of-half scenarios to come away stealing points make a big impact on the outcome of the game. And they're knocking on the door here first and goal. At the very least, got to come. Oh, well, he feels the pressure and will go down back at the six. Task a bit tougher as they face second and goal. Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. He's got it at the three. Hard running close to the goal line, but they're going to mark him just short. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called. Harrison Butker on now for the field goal. This, about as short as you can get. Butker's kick is good. And the Chiefs can attack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well, you're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. So, two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So, they'll take over at the 30-yard line. So, they come to the line for first down and 10. And that is incomplete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. All right, Mike, we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports studios and our halftime report. In the first half, we saw some strong play from Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. All right, Coach, second half, drawing near. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway and it'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drop the Chargers offense gonna have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter they find themselves down three touchdowns here needing to flip the script in a hurry and they'll start it here on first down
They'll run to begin this drive. It's Edwards. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us, and right now this defense has no answers. They run once more with Edwards. He's going to have the first down. Mark him at 45 and move the chase. It's possible they could have tried to be a little bit more aggressive on second down, knowing they had third and inches in their back pocket. But I don't think anyone's going to complain. Pick up the first down, extend the drive, see if you can go score. On play action, it's Herbert. And he got the out on the quickly. The score receiver he knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Pretty unforgettable performance so far in the first half, Mike. And they're going to try to figure this out here in the second half and try to gain some momentum. Figure out what's going to work, where are our matchups, and let's go try to put a drive together and get some points because so far this has been a struggle and they just cannot get anything going through the air. He'll work forward for a couple. Trent McDuffie up from his corner spot there on the tackle. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Shotgun now for Herbert. He's got his tight end. That's Hurst. They gained 18 yards on that one. And the Chargers have the first down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They have a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. Points have certainly been hard to come by in this one today, Mike, but it seems like this drive has been what they've been searching for. A little bit of rhythm, the ability to sustain. Now they got to finish. Now they got to capitalize on these first downs and go finish with six. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Herbert. Now he'll run it. And he's into the end zone. Justin Herbert, touchdown Los Angeles. We were talking during the break, Mike. We felt that this was kind of a do-or-die drive. They felt like they needed to come away with the touchdown here, and now they're showing a little life. Yeah, a little, little bit of belief, don't you think? Everyone on that field knows they've been a part of a comeback before. It's a pretty big mountain, but a good way to get started here to begin this half. Cameron Dicker, the kicker for the extra point. He's got it. And the Chargers are able to cut into the deficit. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Hardman now to return it. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The Chiefs offense and Patrick Mahomes coming out for their next drive. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes. And some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one.
First and 10 now from the 36. Drive will start on the ground. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. It's going to be a long field. They'll take over right about their own 13. The home team's offense in Gus Edwards heading back on the field for the next drive. They'll begin inside their own 15-yard line. So a lot of real estate to cover. It's first and 10. Drive starts with a carry by Edwards. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's a second and six. Throwing now is Herbert. Left side that's made by He's going to be marked down up around the 33. Well, so often we see quarterbacks standing in the pocket, holding it, seeing if they can create something downfield. Well, not that play. That play was simple. Snap the ball to the quarterback, spit it out into the hands of your receiver, and let's see what he can do. So it'll be first and 10. They'll scrimmage at the 33. the middle. Here's Edwards. And he slips through an opening. Winds up getting about eight. That is past the 40-yard line. Here's second and two. Again, it's Edwards. And he'll work his way for about four yards. That's good enough for a first down. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground. Play it safe. Pick up the first down. Again, zone read. It's Edwards. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. Look him up on a second down and eight. On play action, now Herbert. There is his tight end, Disley. This is a great example of why teams want to stay out of what they call passing downs, where a defense doesn't have to honor the run. In this case, they do, and man, the play-action pass just works off of that and can really lead to some chunk plays. Here's third and two. He'll try and run for the first down with Edwards. And he is going to have the 
Bay Chargers first down as they get five on third and two. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. They'll come up here first and ten. They'll go back to Edwards on first down. And it'll be brought down right around the 40. Trent McDuffie up from his corner spot there on the tackle. They face second down and seven. forward down to the 36 Drew Tranquil up to make the tackle they'll come up to third and three from the gun it's Herbert oh and that throw not able to be pulled in it's incomplete looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there and it's going to bring up fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game, but it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page, and now brings up fourth down. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Chargers will cut into that lead. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This taken in at the eight-yard line. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. First and ten, it's Mahomes. Work on the right side, taken in by Rice. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. Quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. On second down, Mahomes. He connects with Gray on that one. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. Not much to speak of on that one. It'll be a game of the yard. It's second down. Smith Schuster, the man in motion. He's across midfield. The tackle is going to be made down at the 40-yard line. First and ten. Throwing from the gun. Here's Patrick. Who else? Another catch. 
for his favorite target. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. They put Kelsey in motion. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time. But I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. To the air once more, it's Mahomes. The toss, left side, caught by his running back. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. There's a lot of ways to get the ball in the hands of your running backs, and it's not always by just handing it to them. In this case, it's a simple check down, picks up a good game, brings up third down. Looking to keep a promising drive alive, it is third and a yard. So, three quarters now in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. This would go a long way to sealing this one. Third and a yard. Throwing again, it's Mahomes. No one open, he'll drop it to his running back. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are and get there and be friendly to the quarterback and if you're open stay open that's nfl route running that's what the best guys do so now from half the distance closer here's first and goal right back to the air for mahone oh that may be the break they needed that one's intercepted Picked off by Christian Fulton. And he's going to go out of bounds, but a very nice return up past the 35-yard line. So much of that play comes down to the defender's position. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown, and instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. So now here comes the Chargers as they get set to take over once more. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. Herbert to throw. This throw taken in by Hurst. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. A modest game. Maybe two yards. It's second down. That's Palmer, the man in motion. Now Herbert. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And that screen slow to develop and 
They rally to the ball and stop him. That will be no gain on the screen. It's a really good job defensively. The key is you don't want your defensive lineman to overcommit to rushing the passer. And you don't want your linebackers in secondary dropping too deep defending the pass. In this case, all three levels play discipline, good football with good vision. That's why they're able to stop him for no gain. A marker comes in as he goes down. It is a sack, and that flag definitely in the area of holding. The Chargers get set to kick it away. As this drive went backwards, he's on to kick it away. Good hang time. The fair catch will be made back at their own 12. The Chiefs offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mahomes. Open man, right side is Kelsey. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. This is one of those throws where I don't think the risk is worth the reward. If you're going to throw the ball into tight coverage and take a chance, it better lead to a big gain. And in this case, a pretty modest pickup, considering that was a risky throw. Mahomes looking to throw on second down. He's got room past the 25. And he's taken down up past the 35. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air. Mike, you're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. We don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock. And without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball down to the flat and it's complete a very nice open field tackle there he could not get free and he gains nothing i think the days where cornerbacks are either unwilling or unable to be involved in the run game i, I think those days are over mike i think when you look around the landscape of today's nfl yes you have to cover but you also have to be able to come up and tackle He decides to go with this safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. This defense in desperate need of a stop. And here comes third down. Gray is the motion man here. Mahomes going to throw here on third down. That's going to be caught by Gray. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. That might end up being the backbreaker right now. This defense desperately needed to get off the field and give their offense a chance to cut into this two-score lead. But instead, they now got to defend a fresh set of downs. And as you look up at this clock, they might be running out of time. The hole closes quickly. They'll pick up about three. Second and seven. They put Kelsey in motion. There's that man again. Another catch. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage 
as like a personal offense. They, they, they can't imagine that a defensive coordinator would say, hey, we're just going to have one guy defend you all by himself. And after that last completion on the way back to the hole, I think he had a few choice words for him. I think he said, hey, man, you can't guard me one-on-one. -on -one. You better ask your coach for some help because if he doesn't, you're going to be in for a long day. Come up now for second down and four. Mahomes going to fire quickly to Worthy. And he'll get about five here as he's out of bounds with a first down. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read see some openings to the sideline and him and his receiver are able to connect first down throw Mahomes to the right side and hauled in by Kelsey that's catch three just on this drive and it gets his team a first down and this is the blueprint Mike the ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process They've been in complete control. They've been able to dictate what they want to do offensively and make the defense react. The defense has had no answers up until this point. And now the next step is, can they come away with six? Because anything less than that, after this long drive, would be a bit of a letdown. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. Mahomes now to throw again. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no game. I think the rest of those receivers in the huddle have all come to the realization that they might not be getting a target anytime soon. And frankly, I don't blame them. I mean, they're riding the hot hand, and rightfully so. Until this defense proves that they can stop him in the passing game, I expect the quarterback to just continue to go back to him time and time again. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Big time completion right there. And this isn't just a spot where they're trying to run the game out here in the fourth quarter. They were not only trying to pick up points, but they're trying to get in the end zone and extend this lead. So really nice job here late. Let's see if they can put this one out of reach. Here's a chance to put this game away. First down and goal. Patrick to throw. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the intended target. And it'll lead to a second and goal. That was a perfectly timed hit, and I think it actually saved six points, Mike. He got there just as the ball did, and I think it was the contact that separated him from the ball. Mahomes now on second down. He puts it up, and it's caught. Xavier Worthy. Touchdown, Chiefs. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. Now Butker to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Chiefs will open it up even further. Here in this fourth quarter.
So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. He'll start at the four. Mm -hmm. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The home team's offense and their running back set to go once more. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. Set to go now on first and ten. Shotgun now for Herbert. That'll be complete to Dobbins. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. Can't exactly put my finger on it, but it just seems like this entire game, like this passing game and this quarterback specifically, they've just been off. And whether it's missing these big shots downfield like he did there, or just simple underneath layups, there's just something about him today that doesn't look right. And I think it's a big part of the reason they find themselves trailing here in the fourth quarter. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. The offense staying out there for this fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Herbert. He'll air one out for Palmer. This one incomplete. The defense up to the challenge there. They force the incompletion, and they'll take the ball over on downs. You find yourself down big. It's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point. But once again, this defense, they're up to the task, and they come through yet again with a huge stop. Ball rest at the 37. It's first and 10. A handoff as they try to run it here. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back for the conclusion. In a moment, they'll come up here on second down and five. Back to the ground. He'll get it again. Finding space at the 15. The speed on display. He's in. Touchdown, Kansas City. It's not often in the NFL, Mike, that we see a run play result in a touchdown of this length. A lot of things have to go right. The right look by the defense, executing by the offensive line and all of your blockers. And then sometimes it's just, I got a better guy with the ball in my hand than you do on defense. And I think all of those things here were at play and it results in a big touchdown. Butker now to add the PAT. The kick is good. And the Chiefs are going to extend their lead.
So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. Davis now to return it. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The home team's offense ready to take over once again. Things not looking good. But see if we can get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Out of the gun, here's Herbert. That one complete to Johnston. And they'll get him up four here as he is taken down. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. From the gun, it's Herbert. is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think Mike they know this offense has to be one dimensional this has to be a pass so what do they do they bring in extra defensive backs they clog up the back end and at the end of the day there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball they'll be forced to just throw that one away it's incomplete so defensively there's always the initial pass coverage plan and then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man to man and it's exactly what they did here and there was nowhere for the ball to go and he's forced to just roll away so this offense they think this is a prime opportunity to go for it through the air on fourth down but this defense was having none of it. Nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. No easy completions. And this defense forces a huge stop on fourth down. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Handoff here, up the middle. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yards. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Second down, they run the counter. And some good blocking, springing up. A gain of nine as we get to third down. This one in the win column for the Chiefs. They're able to get the job done in front of a hostile crowd as they come away with the victory.